the, the journey I would like to see is that the coming together of all the youth, we have been able to, to me, bless a lot of the youth here in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, the inner city youth working with them out of the Hickory Hill Community Center here. And just the blessing to see how they've all come together uh, from the beginning, uh, even coming from Richmond, California, uh, we had at least 30 girls in 1999 there, and we have had up to 60 uh, young ladies and men with drummers here in Memphis, Tennessee. And the journey is to just teach them their etiquette, mannerism, uh, conflict mediation, and how, you know, just getting along with one another and, and just knowing how people are in general. When we first started uh, here in Memphis, we were not allowed to go inside the uh, community center. Uh, Sunshine and I stayed outside uh, from the community center. There's a gazebo in the back of the community center where uh, we had the girls practicing back there. Sometimes there's a school, Hickory Middle School, um, we usually get into their parking lot and practice in their parking lot because the director at the time did not want drums inside the building. And that was kind of hard, you know, when you're working with children and they kept you out of the building um, in that time, in the beginning. And that was kind of disappointing and hurtful when you're thinking that the community is for children and yet they kept the children outside. When they changed over to a new director, um, she saw uh, Miss Garner, uh, she saw that the kids needed to be inside, especially in the rain. We would be in rain, snow and sleet, uh, practicing with the kids outside. And one day she said, I'm not gonna let your kids uh, be outside. And that was the beginning of the opening of the door that we were able to practice with them inside with drums. I would like to say overall everything really for me has been an exciting time, it has been a good time. This has, for me has given me an opportunity that if it wasn't for Sunshine and Millennium Man, it's the traveling part. That has been exciting for me to travel. We had the, the Bud Billiken Parade in Chicago, Illinois. That was like a 13 mile walk. That was challenging. Uh, not knowing how long the route was going to be. God blessed us with an all paid expense trip. We weren't able to take everybody with us but to Beretta, Italy. And we had to work on getting our passports and uh, pictures and stuff taken to, to go over there. And that was a seven day experience that I will never forget. That was such a blessing that I had an opportunity to witness, uh, to see the kids perform for seven days in Beretta, Italy. I have to say, um, our, our actually our, our first uh, year when we had it at the Cook Convention Center, but we were with the Southern Folklore at the time. We had Lisa Ray that was our celebrity guest. That was one of the most best uh, jumperies that we had. Our 10 year anniversary, we had over 2,000 people that we had to turn people away because of the capacity. Uh, they couldn't put any more in the building. And then this last one in June, this was a, a great uh, jamboree, which we call Drillorama, not jamborees because we're a drill team. Mm -hmm. And they were awesome. Uh, the, the first, the 10th, and the 13th was, was awesome. All of them were good. Um, but you know, but as far as to, to memorize, because of the crowd that we have exceeded to have, it's been great. Overall, I would like the team to know that, that I love them like they're all my grandchildren and just teaching them the way, the truth, and the life and to know the way of life to go, but, you know, knowing the Lord. That's the most important thing to me, that I am being a witness. I want to be the witness to let them know what life is about because we're all not going to live forever. But when you leave this world, where are you going to be when I see you again? And that's what I want to impress on them.